Uh, this is going to be a very important area because you remember uh, there were a lot of collapsed scrummages at Twickenham a fortnight ago. And Ireland have got a good scrummage on, but the Scots have held it and Paxton holds out to Laidlaw. Indeed. So Paxton in the Murray Maxted position for New Zealand, and that's why. But caught there by McGrath. Ripped out by Jim Calder. Two here. So there's obviously a ploy on. Now we're going to turn it to the left, and probably Leslie will try and pick up and drive over. Now referee. It's the Irish 22 and Phil Orr on this side here, number one. Playing in his 43rd international in a row, just two behind the consecutive caps record held by Gareth Edwards. And packing there against Ian Milner Herriot. Two very experienced players against each other on this side of the front row. Laidlaw. Laidlaw. Laidlaw going again, and he's done it again. Just kilted friends about this uh, great stadium now. As Duggan holds in, and Hunter is caught offside, and the Irish get closer and Duggan feeds Doyle and Doyle is caught by Calder now it's Duggan again Duggan driving feeding on to McGrath now it's out along the line from Condon this is Kiernan Kiernan is through and that is a brilliant try for Ireland he scorched the grass on that occasion good Scottish shove but uh, the Irish managed to get Great roars of Scotland, Scotland. I tell you, this is a day for them to remember and to celebrate. Listen to that volume of noise as Paxton feeds Rutherford and Robertson comes. It's out to Johnston. There's an overlap here as Bay 